What's good, Fight Fans? is Ashley's Corner. And, man, I can't be more upset and just straight-up disappointed in the welterweight division. Honestly. Like, I'm, I might miss somebody. I might leave somebody out, but what? Ever since he fought Kell Brook, even before he fought Kell Brook, everybody knew that the winner of Kell Brook and Earl Spence was going to challenge Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman even knew that. People, uh, there was interviews with Keith Thurman talking about it. But Earl Spence called out Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Jeff Horn called him out, and Lu- and um, Luis Colazo, uh, Luis Colazo was supposed to fight him. All right, that's four different fighters since he got his belt. And uh, Colazo was just on uh, Twitter, and he showed himself with his arm in the cask, and he said he's uh, he's injured, so he pulled out the fight. This man has yet to find a decent opponent to um, defend his title from, to, to to defend the IBF. Like, this shit, I'm finna go off. <laughs> For real. I'm finna go off. Um, get this shit one more month. If nobody step up, if there's no signed fucking contracts or nothing in, written in stone about uh, who... Um, Earl Spence is going to defend his title against, man, I'm going to go the fuck off on YouTube. I'm telling you. I'm going to go fuck off on my channel. No bullshit. Straight up sick of this shit, y'all. Like, I mean, not even the bums. Like, nobody is one to get paid for this ass over. Like, the shit is, this shit is starting to really leave a nasty taste in my mouth. This shit is fucking disgusting. Like, y'all, where's the balls in the welterweight division right now, yo? But I came up with four reasonable opponents that Earl Spence should step up and fight Earl Spence. Because regardless of whoever Earl Spence called out, they ain't going to answer him anyway. But one of these four fighters should step up and fight Earl Spence. And the first one is Tawan Karam. Now, (laughs) I know you guys don't know him, okay? He's from Thailand. All the fights he ever fought was in Thailand. Uh, but the man is 38 and 0. He has 28 knockouts. His knockout rating is 74%. He's fought for 232 rounds. He's 25 years old. Of course, it's like I said, he's from Thailand. And he hasn't had a pro fight yet in the U- in the United States. He, his last fight was in February, and he had another one in July. So maybe, maybe he would up he would be up to fight again fight for the IBF strap in the welterweight division at the end of 2017. Now he has a couple of fights on YouTube. Um, I seen his fight, and the boy ain't no joke. I can't find his height or his arm reach anywhere, but he don't look short. He looks like a looks like he's about five ten. He looks pretty tall and pretty lengthy, and he uses his jab great. Like his his jab, everything looks powerful. He doesn't look like a weak fight. He doesn't uh throw his punches sloppy. It's nice and tight. And um, he looked like he had some power on. He doesn't have that much speed, but it looked like he got some power on it. He got, I mean, it's like I said, he has a very nice jab. He works the body and all of that. He's not nobody to take lightly, really. Then we have Diego Chavez. All right. Um, he knocked out uh, Gene, Gene Prada in June this year. So he might be able um, or might be up to take another fight uh, before this year is up. His record is 26-2-1. 22 knockouts, 123 rounds, 76% knockout rating, 31 years of age. Um, he's 5'7 and a half, 66 inch, 66 and a half inch reach. And um, his two losses came from Keith Thurman and Brandon Reels. I honestly think out of the four people I'm going to name, he would be the easiest fight for Earl Spence. But since uh, Keith Thurman already fought him and he's and Earl Spence is trying to fight Keith Thurman, this wouldn't be a bad look. You know what I'm saying? Is to pick up all of Keith Thurman's sloppy seconds and beat him better than Keith Thurman did. So um, I think that he's a, a very good possibility. Then we have Lucas Matisse. Um, his last fight was in May the 6th of 2017, of course, um, where he TKO'd Emmanuel Taylor. 
His record is 38 wins, 4 losses. 35 of those wins goes, comes by knockout. 81% knockout rating, 181 rounds. He's 34 years old, 5'6 and a half in a 69-inch reach. Now, um, Lucas is a, is a vet. Like, he's... The boy got talent. He's very hard. He's a, a very hard hitter. Um, out of these four people that I'm going to name, he is the hardest hitter. Um, and but the only thing is, is that you know that reach, that 69 inch reach, like that gives a big, big advantage to Earl Spence. But he's a great fighter, and he has a lot of heart. Uh, I remember I seen one fight. I don't remember which one it was, but his eye, his right eye, was like swollen shut, and he was still fighting. So there's no, there's no quit in him, unlike Kell Brook. I'm sorry, I had to throw that in there. But um, <laughs> his only losses, his law, his four losses came from um, Zab Judah, Devin Alexander, um, Danny Garcia, and Victor Postal. But last and not least would be Jesse Vargas. Now, um, he hasn't had a fight since last year when he faced Manny Pacquiao and he lost in decision. But his record is 27 wins, 2 losses, 10 KOs, 201 rounds, fault, 34% knockout rating, 5-10 and with a 71-inch reach. He's 28 years old, and um, his only two losses came, of course, um, by hand of uh, Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley Jr. Now, the fifth one I could throw out there is Lamont Peterson. He's the wild card. But, damn it, if any of five of these fighters that I just said, man, if they don't fucking do something, make a bust a goddamn move. Ooh, this shit is getting... Just ridiculous. No bullshit. Now, the next time I talk about Earl Spence, it's going to be, um, it's going to be when he finds a fight. I'm going to, uh, talk about that. I'm going to talk about his next opponent. Whenever he has, he finds his next fight. If not, before then, I'm going on everybody's ass in the Walter Vig division. I'm going to be talking a bunch of cheese. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm so tired of this shit, and I want to see my favorite fighter excel in the sport and nobody want to give him a try y'all acting like they acting like some straight girls they acting like a bunch of girls that don't want to fight the number one welterweight contender i understand if it was a bitch but damn y'all are grown fucking men let's get it and let's get it for some money shit y'all get paid for this shit damn y'all oh my god let me know what y'all think about these fights is it going to interest you yes or no i like them i think they're pretty good but always like and subscribe to the channel Peace.